Every single time we're talking about proofs, the only types of proofs that we're going to be doing in this course so far is just going to be two comp proofs. So if I'm asking you to complete a proof, Mario, you know that you're at least going to have to develop some statements and some reasons to back up those statements. Okay. Then the first thing we always want to do when we're trying to develop a proof is take what is given to us and write that in part of our proof. So what do we know? We know that triangle ACE is equal angular. Oh, yes. ACE is equal angular. Why do we know that? Because it was given to us in the problem. That's a pretty easy step. The next one is we know that, oh shoot, that's BD. Sorry about that. BD is parallel to AE. BD is parallel to AE. Why do we know that? Because it's given. OK? Does everybody see that? So now, let's go and determine what we have. Well, ladies and gentlemen, when we have parallel lines, some special things happen. We spend a whole unit on parallel lines, right? Whole unit on parallel lines and angles. Um, now, when we have parallel lines, Kaylee, do you remember any two angles that are equal when we have parallel lines? That needs to be flipped over. Do you remember two angles that are equal when we have parallel lines? No? Samantha, do you remember angles that are equal in parallel lines? Blake, do you remember two angles that are equal in parallel lines? No? Taylor? What two angles were equal when we had parallel lines and, a trans and they're intersected by a transversal? OK. Guys, when we have two parallel lines, and I'm sorry, they're intersected, I know. They're intersected by a transversal. We know that two angles that are equal to each other would be alternate interior. Right? That's at, though when we have parallel lines, those two angles are equal to each other and they're alternate interior. So now, um, Damon, do you know another type of angles that are equal to each other? The ones on the other side. I don't know what the other side are. Well, the yeah, the exterior. So we could even say like alternate exterior. So you could say like, um, let's call this C and let's call this D. So you could say angle A is or angle C is congruent to angle D because those are alternate exterior. And there's one more type of angle that was equal to in measurement when we had parallel lines intersected by a transversal. Oscar, do you remember? <coughs> Sam, do you remember? No? Kristen, you remember? Philip? Rhymes with corresponding? Corresponding. Corresponding, exactly. So let's call that E. You guys could say angle A is congruent to angle E because they are corresponding. OK? Those are corresponding angles. Now, we also talked about um, consecutive interior, right? But for right now, I just want to focus on these. When we have parallel lines, Automatically, when we have parallel lines, I want you guys to immediately think of these three angles. Because you know that when you have parallel lines, as long as you have a transversal, you might possibly have these types of angles. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend these lines. OK? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is let's extend this. So you guys can see that now, here is two parallel lines, and this line right here is intersecting our parallel lines, which we would now call a transversal. So if we have angle 2, what else is equal to angle 2? Well, first of all, angle 2 is what? Is that interior or exterior of these two lines, which are parallel? Interior. So therefore, we could say that that measurement's equal to 2. And what other measurement? This measurement right here. So we can say that 
these two angles are equal in measurement. Why are they equal in measurement? Because they're corresponding angles. So therefore, I can say angle CBD is congruent to angle CAE. So this angle is congruent to this angle because they are corresponding angles. Now, do we have other angles that are corresponding? Yes. Angle 3 is corresponding, or I'm sorry, angle CEA is corresponding to angle CBD. So we can now say angle CEA is, co is congruent to angle CDB because those angles are corresponding. All right, so now what we have, Oscar, is we have three angles that are equal in measure. And when we have three angles that are equal in measure, what, do we have an equal angular triangle? Yes. Yes. I'm sorry. Sorry. When we have three angles that are acute, do we have an equal angular triangle? Yes. Equal angular, I'm sorry, equal angular is um, going to be when we have our three equal a acute angles. So it already says these are acute, and therefore, if these three angles are acute, then two, in, or I'm sorry, equal in measure, then we know that these three angles are also equal in measure. All right? So therefore, um, so now it says one, two, and three are angles. So now we can say that ACE is equal angular. So we say, so we want to prove triangle C, B, D is equal angular. All right, and why is it equal angular? Because they ha it has the exact same angles. The angles are exactly the same as angle ACE. And angle ACE is angle equal angular. It's not congruent, but it's similar. It's similar to angle CBD, OK? Or you could just write it out. Um, it's similar. It has the exact same angles. You could write in. I know we haven't talked so much about similarity and congruence. Um, but anywhere you guys want to write in at least describing um, what exactly you need to be doing. OK, is that? So you guys can write that down in your stuff. Um, that's it for today. I got to go and check your work.